Hello, welcome back to Red Faction Gorilla. I'm Jade Star. I'm Iron Man PK. Uh, and this episode starts with um, Mailman's Imp Plus Plus Mark II patch, which uh, adds a vehicle to uh, safe houses. Oh. It has a, a little bit of an unintended consequence. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Wow. Yeah. Totally Is this fine. not implemented in the game at all? Uh, I don't know if we've seen this thing before, no. So I, I think it was... I think Mailman said he found unimplemented vehicles in the code. Why didn't they put this in? I don't know. I mean, I, I wish it had, like, functions. Like, you could use the, uh... I don't know, whatever the hell that giant rake-looking thing in the Maybe back is. Maybe that's why they didn't ram things with the bulldozer. But uh, I, I definitely had to try this out. And uh, as it turns out, it really doesn't care what it drives over. Like, if the truck didn't give any fucks, this thing doesn't even notice. Well, no. Until, like, hills. Uh, and while well, we're on our way uh, towards those towers there on the left, uh, Arvin, do you know that Mars actually has its own flag? Oh, no. It was designed by a NASA engineer and is a red, green, and then blue vertical stripes. Okay. I found a problem with my plan to uh, yeah. <laughs> shortcut here. Oh, no. No, it's fine. Still flipping. Maybe? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's coming this way, it's angry! <laughs> so, uh, this demolition challenge that I'm slowly headed towards was right next to the last uh, Jenkins mission, which the thread was posting about not missing. So I wanted to get these done, even though these are usually our, uh, our free time videos. We prefer the kitchen sink mentality of demolition. Just try to keep your limbs intact. Okay. The mission description there uh, was a bit of a hint that I didn't pick up on the first or second time that some things are indestructible. Um, we'll be seeing why that's important uh, very soon. So I'm thinking okay, you gave me a thermobaric launcher, you gave me a nano rifle. And this thing is mostly just concrete and beams, no problem. Like, I got this. This, this looks too easy. And there's three ammo crates, uh, two of which I've already blown up. Yeah. So, uh, whoops. Probably uh, wanted to pay attention to that. But I can still get to that last one. Also, I didn't notice that my nano rifle came almost unloaded uh, at the start of the mission, or challenge. Yeah. But not a problem. Because that gets you full ammo. So I'm thinking, okay, I got 30 nano rifle shots, I got four more rockets. Piece of cake. Yeah, screw this pillar, right? So, remember that part about some things are indestructible? Seems those pillars are. Yeah, this building has many, many pillars, as I'm about to find out, that uh, just simply aren't destroyable. I think there are four in the middle and then four on the outside at each corner. Maybe, maybe eight. No, that one's destroyable, so I think it's just eight. Nano rifles can't melt steel beams. Uh, as it turns out, no, they can't well, dissolve, I don't know, Martian titanium alloy. So I figure, like, I still should have this, right? I mean, there's, like, not a whole lot of this building left. It's just all those dumb grids up top. Girders or beams, or it's just a big la lattice of steel. Yeah, it needs to come crumbling down. 
unfortunately, a nano rifle really isn't quite the tool for the job. I keep approaching all these demolition challenges just like no problem, like it's Parker Sector where everything's flimsy and it's just a few explosives will just send everything flying away. Uh, the devs continue to keep these challenging and interesting and creative. Um, yeah. You actually have to think about these a few times, and now, now I'm just frustrated and I have a hammer. And it, it's, it's not going to work. So, uh, that run timed out, obviously, because there was way too much stuff up top. So, take two. Yeah. So now I'm thinking, okay, I learned my lesson that these uh, the centralized beams are indestructible, so I've got to plan around that. Also, there's a lot of stuff up at the top that apparently counts towards the, uh, the structure's overall health, so I've got to yeah. take out some of this stuff up top. So this isn't the greatest plan, but... I get to the top level that is constructed, and I'm going to start from there. Oh, oh. And... Well. well, that sort of works. I mean, aside from the part where I flopped over and took a building to the face and I ruined all three of my ammo boxes, um, yeah. But, looking up, you can see I've, I've learned a valuable lesson that... Uh, debris falling downwards will clear a lot of the lower structure for me. So, in this case, it actually seems beneficial to start at the top rather than to start at the bottom. No, even though we've destroyed basically everything to this building, um, what it exactly wants from you is a little unclear. Ah! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Is it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is very much not fine, but I, I love that death at camera with him just sitting there. Yeah. So applying the lessons I've learned previously of starting at the top and letting debris fall away and clear out the lower floors so that I can save my ammo for the, the hard-to-reach upper floors, uh, i give this another crack. Yeah, so... High speed falling debris. Every time. Yeah. Gravity's a bitch. <laughs> Even on Mars. Well, just think. I mean, if it's uh, three times lighter, they can use materials that are three times heavier for their infrastructure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Sure, let's say yes. Yeah, let, let's work with that. Uh, so, finally, I feel like I discovered that, uh, that little, like, circle thing at the top. I don't know what to call that. But that, uh, that little frilly decorative circle tiara thing on top of the building actually yeah. counts, uh, for a sizable chunk of the building health, and that needs to come down to complete the destruction. Which is odd, because, man, is it remarkably, uh, resilient at being up there. Again, like in short order, I've reduced this thing to mostly kind of just this bare skeletal element of the building. I'm not sure you're supposed to have all these rockets, are you? Why not? I mean, well, it lets you have it and it gives you free uh, ammo crates. Yeah, but they didn't reload, did they? Until the mod. You didn't get thermobaric rocket reloads. Oh shit! You're right. So technically you're cheating. Whatever, screw this one. We'll have to see if Nailman uh, 
mean, it's inside of a challenge, so maybe. And again, look at this thing. Like, there's nothing left. I, I'm just shooting little beams just out of curiosity to yeah. what the game still thinks I haven't destroyed. There's still bits of concrete there. Yeah. The tiny bits of concrete were the last in there. But, I mean, hooray. I destroyed a giant uh, Martian hotel complex or something. Yeah. Or apartment block, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think uh, this is where I also demonstrate something that uh, Mailman added in. This is totally in the game, but it's supposed to be kind of a New Game Plus thing. Uh, this is the Reconstructor. Oh, right. And he also buffed it. Yeah. So, if we're ever inclined, we can actually repair the things that we blow up somehow, magically, put them all back in place. Doesn't seem to work too well in glass, but it works no. in the structure. I think glass just shatters and ceases to be an object. Uh, the interesting thing to note is that it requires the previous piece being there, so I am reconstructing these oh, stairs yeah. one step at a time. And also, it, it shakes the camera around and jerks your aim, which is odd, but whatever. It's Mason. You want my help or not? Give me a second. Jenkins. <laughs> yeah. Check out the new suspension. <laughs> Still the same as ever. Yeah. He yeah. said something about a new suspension, so I was hoping like his ride actually got upgraded. No. I gotta tell you something, Mason. I always look forward to our time together. Terraform this, you bastards! Jenkins. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. He's training himself to breathe carbon dioxide. He just wants a natural Mars. Hold the vehicle over So Jenkins uh, has strange and mystical powers this mission, apparently. Really? Yeah. Uh, let's see by the end. Uh, strange and mystical powers that upset me greatly. We are authorized to use lethal force. I'm really enjoying our conversation. You're the only one who listens to me. Everyone else <laughs> treats me like that. Be out of the vehicle and lay Man, down your weapon. <laughs> Here's why I hate Jenkins. Look what he has done. He's rebuilt the bridge. He has rebuilt the goddamn bridge. He's rebuilt the fucking bridge. Fucking hell. <laughs> fucking Jenkins. You listen to me, Mason. You get it. I know you do. There's a place for you here, buddy. Reinforcements are on their way. Surrender. Uh, I remember that, though. It's just another uh, Jenkins tour to force. I'm not entirely sure why the thread uh, called out specifically to make sure I did all the Jenkins missions hey, beforehand. Yeah. Unless they wanted to be dicks and have me respawn the bridge after all of the effort we went through <laughs> last time. But if that is the case, screw you guys, you're all a bunch of dicks. 
I'm not so sure I can fix that! Get a Jenkins ramming plate on the front of his thing on other vehicles. Yeah. It's not often like Jenkins gets to hit something head on, but uh, we've seen him flip a couple of uh, EDF transports. Yeah, I think it was also the fact that he has seems to have in infinite inertia because he can't stop this because of the mission. Yeah, that that probably helps. these things are. Radio towers, and methane tanks. Methane burns green, right? I can't remember. Probably. It's like the one... Oh, Christ. Yeah, look at that infinite inertia. The one science lesson kids have paid attention to in high school is like, what burns different colors? Oh, it's exciting. Yeah. from Idaho? I don't know. Wait, was that mentioned in the beginning cutscene? No? Did I mean... ever see his ID and it said birthplace Idaho? <laughs> wow. Whoops. I don't know if that was oh. going to show up in the recording or not. What? Don't you blow Steam yourself up Steam notification, yeah. They've been going the whole time. There have been like 12 of them. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I forgot to shut down all my uh, background stuff. But, hey, new sledgehammer. Also, uh, so spawning these giant bulldozers uh, kind of ruins the, uh, <laughs> the garages. Sledgehammer upgrade. Yes, the Shattermaster, which is maybe oddly named and very oddly shaped. <laughs> I mean, it just kind of looks like a piece of debris at that point or wreckage. Feels incomplete, that name. It should be called like the Shattermaster 5000. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a toned down version of the Shattermaster 6000. Easier to, to carry on. Oh, yeah, I forgot I did this. In a rare moment of consideration, I decided to be nice to the rebels. Oh! There we go, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's all nice. Yeah. Good as new. Mine's glass, I think, but yeah. It doesn't ever seem to rain here. I don't know if there's enough moisture on Mars for it to rain. We've had this discussion. They've obviously added a shit ton. Oh yeah, well, it's true, but to the point where it rains? Hmm. Like, you'd probably have to add way more waters to this to make it rain. They found, uh, I think they found ice on Mars. I'm not absolutely sure. I think they found frost even on the moon. Yeah, having some frost or ice is one thing, but actually just having enough, like, water laying around in your atmosphere to condense and rain? It depends on too many things for me to figure yeah. out. I 
don't know if you noticed which way the uh, the auto mapping was taking us, but I'm um, I'm very glad that I brought this vehicle for the ride. I did so. The EDF has a convoy leaving the industrial park. Capture one of those vehicles and get to the safe house. Well, I mean, aside from just destroy that propaganda. Now, do you see why I'm glad I have this thing? Oh, God. Fuck this bridge. Fuck this bridge. Fuck this bridge. Fuck this bridge. Fuck that bridge. There we go. That felt good. And it's still standing. Yeah, I it didn't destroy it, obviously. No, just completely carring out the, the center of a suspension bridge like that. It's still up. It's alright, though. Fuck this bridge. <laughs> there we go. No? Is it still up? God. Still up. It's still up. Oh dear, that's the that's rocket. EDF are also real angry with you. Yeah, yeah. Remember our old friend Rocket Tank? Don't have a uh, an arc thrower for that. Uh, and then, and then this rock happens, and uh, turns out large, awkward, treaded vehicles don't handle like. Yeah, I the think front we might be seeing one of the other reasons why they didn't put it in the game. Eh, I manage. <laughs> Alright, resume. Fuck this bridge, fuck this bridge, fuck this bridge. Okay, I got it. I'm finally got happy it. again. Yeah. I'd be really pissed if I have to destroy that bridge like a third time now. I feel like I've played enough that I should learn that uh, I don't think red alerts go away unless you get to a gorilla hideout. Don't they? I don't think so. Like I said, I I've played enough, I feel like I should know whether or not. I never noticed. Yeah. I, I mean, the yellows and oranges you can hide out. I think red means you're kind of boned until you go to a hideout. So, uh, remember how I had that, uh, the repair tool? I replaced it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had the, uh, the repair gun, and then I ended up blowing myself away. GG. The EDF has organized a top-secret economic summit. They want to reassure business leaders that the insurgency is under control. Our giants of industry call themselves civilians. But make no mistake, every EDF massacre and atrocity on this planet is done for their benefit. Mars makes them rich, and brutality keeps their workers in line. We've only got one chance. This time, they'll pay in blood. Wow. Hey, you know, war is uh, economics, apparently. Yeah. So don't get too close. Who are these people? Mining consortium, military contractors, shipping conglomerates. They've got the EDF on a leash and most of the council on their payroll. <laughs> this won't help their stock prices. Exactly. If investors lose confidence, support for the occupation dries up. <laughs> How many guests at this party? Enough to make it interesting. These men keep Mars in chains. Jesus. He's fine, he's fine, he didn't die. He ran into him and he got propelled through a plate glass window. I didn't lose morale from the sector, so clearly he didn't die. He's He didn't die, maybe, but he's real unhappy. 
So I remember the other building that I spent that demolition challenge on. Metal well, side, it's uh, twin site is the mission site. Heavy right. Security. Snipers in position. Whatever happens, don't let the targets escape. I think we know how to deal with this, though. I mean, they're making a run for it. They're in a building, right? Don't let them get away. That's three. Cross number four off the list. Wow. Ah, <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed that one. Just one person <laughs> flailing, panicking, just Poor gets guy. an individual thermal Merrick rocket. There he, there's the last one over there. Yeah, I was getting really shot up though, so I decided to hop into a vehicle. I think this person has fallen somewhere where the debris is shielding them. Or not. They break out. Oh, they were in the stairwell. Oh. Sensible. You just manually gun him and oh god damn. Yeah. Pillars in the way. What? Uh, I don't know. Physics happened, Armin. Physics happened. Yeah. Oh, he's making a break for it. He's making a break for it. Oh, never mind. Hey. All targets are down. These men have paid for their greed. We make the price high enough and Mars will be free. So to date, Mason has the oh, Mason. All or nothing. Let's go kick down the EDF's front door. Yeah. Final mission is approaching. Uh, so to date, Mason has uh, assassinated at least two high-ranking EDF commanders. And now six corporate CEOs? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's getting brutal. Uh, I cut this short because uh, the next time uh, we're going to do the final mission where we uh, storm the EOS Capitol building or wherever the hell they're hiding out. Okay. Yeah. So I've been Jade Star. I've been Aaron PK. And we'll see you next time for the last, like, cavalry ride. Bye.